Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and I hope you're taking great care of yourself. Uh, as some of you might know, I have like a really bad attention span. So I thought, what more could I do to myself that would not help me? Uh, so I came up with a brand new video idea. I don't know if it's been done before yet. Uh, if it has been, let me know so I can ignore you forever. Anyways, about this new video idea of mine, uh, it's a combination of what I do and what I want to do. Like, I do photo walks occasionally and I can't help to think sometimes I might just be wasting time and film, if I shoot on film especially. Uh, so making a video out of them gives me sort of like an aim. Uh, as for what I want to do is to have conversations with other photographers, artists, and honestly just generally people of all walks of life. Um, this is kind of like my effort to broaden my horizons, but I do hope some of these conversations present some sort of value to you guys as listeners, as well as entertain some of you who could possibly be entertained by my lifeless voice. <laughs> Today I have with me my brother Calvin Fernandez. Uh, I'll link his Instagram in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, I want to claim that I've recently got him into shooting film and burning massive holes in his pockets, plural, both of them. Um, so without further ado, enjoy our collective lifeless voices. Oh yeah, for those of you who are watching the video and you want to know what I'm shooting on, I am shooting on the Canon EOS 1N. It's a film SLR that has an EF mount, uh, the Canon EF mount. So um, yeah, it has autofocus and everything. It even looks like a 5D camera. Yeah, I'm shooting with the 85mm EF lens, the 1.4 LIS version. A really nice, big, chunky lens, uh, really sharp, really 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 nice lens even wide open uh yeah and i'm shooting with the sinistil 800t film and yeah we're shooting at around 1 a.m on a wednesday night so yeah uh enjoy the video <laughs> sorry like sometimes you just need to like try a few times just to make sure that this thing works uh as planned i mean i think it would have worked out just now as well just that i didn't want to take any risks mm -hmm. and stuff because i don't talk like too long and then if that doesn't work out yep Anyways, um, yeah, uh, what is it, what is this, how's this first time, wait, my ADHD just kicked me, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what was my question, okay, um, I wanted to like, I have on my notes here, like, what's your, you know, how's your photography experience so far, but I think the more important question is, to ask you how you even thought of getting into it. Mm. There wasn't much, to be honest. To begin with, um, I, f I followed you once, you know. Mm -hmm. I followed you on a photo walk in the morning. And I think if I remember correctly, it was early morning. Yeah, it was like super early morning. Yeah. And I, I did also a few things together with you. Like like last time I remember when, when I think you were still in college back then. You used to ask me to do things for you while you were taking photos what, uh, what, of me, what? random stupid oh, photos yeah, yeah, yeah. at at this hot <laughs> wherever it is that we were eating at that time, yeah, and yeah, then we'll true. go on like a half uh, like a half an hour excursion to <gasps> oh yeah, to, yeah, yeah to take photos and nonsense. Was that, like that? was that? Did I have my camera at that time? You yeah 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 the that old camera the five hundred D yes correct yeah, yeah. the nice. one that you had in college la. Yeah, yeah so that was like that was quite fun to begin with. Right. You know, which is that the one that I did the devil photo of you? Mm, ah, no, that one I think you used no, your no, phone. No. Huh? Really? Yeah, I think you used your phone because that was so bad. No, 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 no. You know what? That was actually the camera. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, then. I remember. You know why? Yeah. Because I I don't think the photos that that time I was using a phone that couldn't take photos. I don't think so. I think you were no, using no, the was, photo that that. No, 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 no. Start. I was I was using a phone, and even if it could take photos right i didn't know how to put it into the computer mm -hmm. yeah it was, it was a, a while ago when like uh it's not like linked to your cloud or anything it was just i had to use a micro sd and then plug in and mm -hmm. i yeah. couldn't be asked like but uh, i thought you had a card reader back then the orange color orange and white <laughs> think so i think so. i mean i, I think i, I think had that did. as an i don't yeah. I just, I, what i mean is i don't think that i used to uh, phone to take that photo i, I don't know and Anyways. also, like, uh, it was really dark. So if you use a phone to take photo for, like, 
like if you use the phone to take that photo at that time, it's gonna be you. You won't see yourself. Mm, probably. Yeah. I don't know. I can't remember at all. I just remember myself wearing the Wanna Ride. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The brown one. Yeah, the brown one. And we were yeah, at Sheraton yeah. Kraton that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Indonesia. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, that's how you kind of like had your experience in that like as in just like me being like hey go do this go do that yeah. and just take some thing. and and like i didn't know what to take photos as well yeah i mean it was <laughs> fun to do things that we didn't know how to do yeah, yeah, I, I, think, s- i assume you knew what you were doing anyway i didn't know what the hell was I going assume, on i assumed i knew what i was doing as well yeah I, but I, at the end of the day it doesn't matter as long as you have fun in it yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. and That's, you come up with a devil photo profile picture <laughs> to put on facebook back then which was such a great honor Yeah, that was like wow. Yeah, and you, you know photo editing, bro. Yeah, and you tag fifteen people inside that one bloody photo. Did I tag it? I, I. It was my not my profile photo. It was my profile photo. So you tagged? I think so. I can't <laughs> remember, but I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. So that was the first experience. That that was uh that that was the first introduction to right uh what these were uh what 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 this entire Uh, thing is and right. then uh, started to get much more into it with you after right. that uh, I mean obviously like, where else am I going to do all these things with you know mm-hmm. like I followed you on photo walks and stuff like that in KL mostly yeah, in the yeah. beginning oh uh, the the one where we had the the the, yeah, the, the beam, beam right as well yes that was so fun you don't have the food I have the video on my YouTube yeah 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 I saw it you then, showed it to me before oh did I show you yeah, yeah. No, no one watched that video ah uh, No one should watch that video. Yeah, it was a beam ride. <laughs> I was like, oh, like I, I think I was at a stage where like I just wanted to upload something into my YouTube channel, and I was like, mm. okay, let me just upload that one. <laughs> But yeah, I mean that that's quite fun. I actually want a beam ride again. Now they're expanding, by the way. I know. Like yeah. everywhere has it right now. Yeah, which is so cool. Right opposite my workplace, also I could just beam mm. to the bank for six ringgit that I could like take a five minute walk. Right, right, right. <laughs> I think that's worth it. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right. So, like, um, now that you've had your, like, now that you have done, uh, what is this? Now that you've done, uh, some, uh, like, you had the experience with like me doing the photo walks and stuff like that. Now you've done actually some photo walks on your own. Mm-hmm. Um, like you've gone on a photo walk. Uh, a guided <laughs> photo walk. <laughs> I don't know whether you call it guided. It's kind of guided. It's 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 supposed to be guided. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, what what was that like? Like, okay, you've you've told me, but like, run it through my brain again because I just want to understand how did how this worked. Out. There, there was not it, okay. Basically, when you ask how did it work, nothing worked. Okay. Okay. So, we basically gathered. Okay, we gathered at one place. I don't mm-hmm. want to say too much. I I guess I, obviously I'm not going to say the na- okay. We gathered at Rex KL. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to say the name of the the. the okay. Okay. The, It's fine. You, you can blow past that. Yeah. yeah. So we met up all at Rex KL, and then mm. we were just split into two groups with these two street photographers who were like, you know, I mean, it's 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 a good opportunity to be able to follow like a photographer you know mm-hmm. uh if like let's say if i had the chance to like follow three different photographers on three different days you know that would be a really really nice like field trip to be able to you know learn more from these people and everything like that okay so but the thing is whenever it is that you go on these kind of things when you go on these kind of trips or whatever it is uh when people are supposed to be guiding you and everything like that you always have to tell people what the point of this entire activity is Which blows my mind. Like, like did not a single like what the the last time you told me about this is like, not a single word came out of their mouth, and then they just started walking, yeah. and you all were just trailing behind, and like they didn't say anything, until like, until halfway, all of a sudden, I get asked, oh, so what kind of photography do you like to do? I'm like, bro. I don't even have a camera. It's not even <laughs> mine, you know. I just pinja money and I'm simply shooting stuff only. You don't need. Okay, so uh, the the whole point of it was street photography. Okay, the whole the the theme of it was street photography. So they were basically supposed to take us around to teach us, you know, a bit at least give us a little intro or something like that about street photography. Uh, to be honest, right now, even until now, right, I don't even understand these people's definition of street photography at all. 
I still don't get it. I really don't understand. Mm-hmm. I went on that thing and then to me right now, street photography is literally walking on the street and just taking photos right. of whatever the hell that pleases you. And, right, right. you know, it. but the thing is, these people were telling, suddenly he was saying, oh, you you can take portrait shoots as well. Yeah, I'm like, what what the, what is that? <laughs> what is that even, you know? <laughs> Like there was no point to it. We're just running around taking photos while these dudes were doing their photo project at the same time. Right. You know, so um, it was. It. it f- oh, sorry, I'm just going to interject there. It just kind of feels like if I want to take a positive note out of this, it feels like it's an opportunity to experience someone working in their field, uh, doing their thing, but they might not be the best at like guiding people yeah they're just it's just kind of like a shadow job but you don't you don't actually uh get the information from them you get the information by observing them yeah which is kind of weird because it's it's labeled as some sort of a guided photo walk yes. kind of thing. even though i mean they didn't say guided photo walk but when you when you say photo walk like together like And and you have first time photographers and stuff like that. I assume there has to be a little bit of a guide, a little bit of an introduction, yeah. or or even a brief, or even just a nice breaker to know the other people in the group yeah. or something. Like no interaction. That's that's no interaction at all. Is the thing that I'm just I'm appalled by. Yeah. See, the best part of it was that um, we were oh, okay. All of us obviously we were not photographers, but the the worst part was that. Not the worst part, lah. I guess a part that would be able to emphasize how bad it was was that first of all, no introduction, nothing. You have to understand the 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 people that were there as well. We before that, we had to fill up a Google form to be able to ask what kind of cameras we're using. And the thing is, it's so obvious that none of us know anything because, and it's so obvious that they know none of us know anything as well, because one of the options of what kind of camera you're using. Is a phone camera, right, right? So if you go around using your phone to take a phone camera, obviously you know you're not into it in any level in that <sighs> sense. You you're know? gonna piss so many people off. No, I mean they're gonna be like, "Oh, what iPhone has 48 megapixels?" <laughs> I cannot say the word lah. <laughs> <laughs> the iPhone has 48 megapixels. I, I, I can't it's, say it's more than a Canon camera. Yes, I know the cam. The camera is good. I don't know about you. <laughs> no, I mean, it's it's obvious that, you know, the people who are there are not like, they wouldn't understand what street photography means. They might be able to take very high resolution photos because the iPhone is very good at that. Or, yeah, I mean, you you see how much I don't even understand right now. Right, right. I'm talking no, stuff it's correct. that I it's don't correct. I barely correct. understand. If like, if like you take a photo of like dog poop, it'll be yeah a forty eight megapixel photo of a dog poop. I mean, congratulations, you know. I yeah, mean, yeah. Good, good iPhone. I don't know about you, but this is the mm-hmm. thing. It's obvious that you know these people are not like you know in any way uh, experienced at all. Right. You know, I went in there with a camera borrowed from you. Two yeah. cameras borrowed from you. I was such a toot. <laughs> I was going there with one film camera and one. <laughs> By the way, since we're one on that, DSLR. I'm gonna like, I'm going to, kind of like, uh, dive up for a second. Of how is it like, shooting film for the first time? Yeah, I I know you like ah. this. Oh uh, yeah, but but like, oh, yeah, so uh, we will get back to the photo mm. walk thing because okay. I think there's just okay. a little bit at the end. There, uh-huh. But, uh, yeah, like. I myself, I am. I wouldn't say I'm kind of new anymore, mm-hmm. uh, because I I've been shooting extensively, and I, I I'm I'm the kind of person who dwells into the uh, technicalities of like, you know, whatever process I'm going through. But what's it like for you, like literally shooting on what most people would call an outdated format? Uh, you know, something that's like it's perishable. So like, you know, you you can't. <laughs> Like you constantly have to keep spending money every time you want to take photo. Mm-hmm. Like, how is that like? How does that feel like? I And actually personally, I really like this. Um, okay, for me at least, I don't do this as a profession. Okay, I don't do any of this as a profession, okay. so I can afford to make mistakes. Okay as many mistakes as I want, and do as many stupid things as I want, and have as much fun as I want. All right. Making mistakes doesn't really matter to me. At the end of the day, I mean, it's fun to notice that you're making certain mistakes yeah. and improve on it later on. But I'm not in a rush to improve. That's me. 
because yeah. it's not my profession. So mm-hmm. I don't need it. Yeah. It would be nice to have it, mm-hmm. but I don't need any of this uh, very critical technical analysis and stuff like that. Yeah. It'd be good to have it, but you know, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I love about certain things is that I love the experience of doing certain things. Okay. I mean, if you look at what I do itself in general, uh, like in terms of hobbies that I have, I drive. No, it, to a lot of people, it doesn't make any sense right. that I drive as a hobby. And I mean, I mean, you, a hobby is a hobby. Like, yeah, you know, it's it's like basically you're. It's defined by like you know doing something you like during yes. your free time, quote yes. unquote. Yeah, and the thing is, I. I I like cars and stuff like that, but I don't have the best car in the world. Also, you know, like yeah. f- to drive, it's nice to me. Mm-hmm. It's a very personal thing. Yeah. And when I play music, and you know that I play music, and you know I make a lot of mistakes a lot of times, and f- for me, most of the time, it's fine. You know, I I even yeah. do I I I like the first song that that I had from the old band last time that mm-hmm. I used to play with. Yeah. The first song that we had, the entire solo was improvised, and it was just a pile of nonsense. It sounded good. Yeah, but there were so many like the essence of it. That's I think that's something that a lot of people would miss. Yeah, I think that's the main point that I try to get because I like to capture that particular emotion that I have at that time, mm-hmm. however horrible it might be, however good it might be. Yeah. So at the end of the day, that adds to the character of everything. So for me personally, I would say that's similar to how film photography works for myself. Right. It's what it is at that moment. Right, If right. you screw up, it's a bad photo. It's fine. Yeah. It's a bad photo. It's a bad moment. There's no such thing as all good moments and everything like that. Right, right. That's me. Yeah, I like to go through an entire roll of film. Take don't know how many days. <laughs> <laughs> That's normal, uh, by the way. As people take like months to finish mm. a roll of film, sometimes because yeah. they just uh, because it's a perishable. Like some mm. people, um, like they they want to make sure they don't wasting. Mm. So they. Only shoot when the right opportunity comes, or yeah. they only bring the camera out when they're like mm. going somewhere special. Or yeah, some people even just take their cameras out only when they're traveling and stuff. Yeah. So you know that there is that. Yeah. Um. But I I feel like what you're kind of inferring to is kind of a blueprint in time. Yes. Yeah, like a blueprint of a certain time that mm. you have. So like when you talk about like you know the music, uh, earlier with your guitar solo and something like that, where it need regardless of what it was. Regardless of the quality, quote unquote quality of it, mm. it's a blueprint that signifies that this is what you had to say at that time. Yes, and this is kind of thing, something that solidifies your age in that time as well. It's mm. something that you know, something that you felt at the time, something that you played at that time, and it signifies a lot of things. It signifies emotion. It signifies what you feel towards the song. Uh, it signifies also your skill at that time. Mm-hmm. You know, yes, like the, the, your tendencies at the time, what you used to learn mm-hmm. to do. You might still have to do those things, mm. but I think the cool thing is that we have this like blueprint that's forever stamped. There, like there's literally mm. a timestamp to like, this is me at this age, mm-hmm. and that can kind of like be reflected as well when you're doing like film photography. Like you know, like um, firstly, I know you as a person who doesn't really like you don't edit your photos because you just have no means to. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> if, even if you wanted to, but I don't feel like you want to. I yeah. feel like you just have your photos and you're like done. This is this looks like a nice photo to me, and it's done. Yeah. Like you know, like you're that kind. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the film photos, because that that is a lot of um, a, a big kind of like uh, a big tendency for film photos is that they are final products mm-hmm. for for a lot of people. For me, mm-hmm. some depends. Sometimes they are they're, they're closer to a final product than digital mm-hmm. photos would be. Because digital photos are more of like a blank slate, a clean mm-hmm. slate, mm-hmm. and then you kind of add character to it. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas like film is, you know, it's full of character. It's sort of a, if you were to edit it, it's a seventy percent done kind of thing, and then mm-hmm. you're making corrections or you're making creative decisions to mm-hmm. you know do whatever you want with it, which is you know. But that's the thing. Like you don't think of doing it because you don't do it. Yeah, you don't edit any photos yet. Yeah, and that again, that comes back to the whole blueprint and time things because like that whole, uh, bl- that that whole photo is imprinted as like this is a shot on this roll of film. Mm-hmm. You didn't get your negatives back, did you? I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. When? Well, did you go there? No, they sent it to me. 
I mean, but with them is the uh, it's a it's a uh, if you send it through the box, it's a compulsory thing to have them ship it back to you. Free? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> obviously not. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I I always have my rolls there. Mm. So right now I have like two ro- two negatives, like two two rolls or negatives there. Mm. I just went the other day and picked up one, but then I dropped another two rolls to them. Mm. Uh, yeah. So that's yeah. Really nice. I like how like it kind of like works out the way like we're talking about the film photos and then um, the music that you did. It's yeah. kind of like it's kind of like it has a correlation there already itself. It's like you kind of have a tendency to like to solidify your memory in a certain place in a certain time. Mm. You know, like it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if you're the kind of person who likes to carve on like those like high school tables like Kelvin was here <laughs> <laughs> I mean I never really did that because I never really liked to uh, uh, I, I, I never liked vandalism you right, know? Nice. I never got it you know, yeah. I never really understood it good boy style yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah I mean uh, it's it, I think it's a character thing at the end of the day mm. you know one thing to have uh, one thing to yeah, one thing to basically make, uh, n- not not try to make something perfect at the end of the day for everyone else. Right. Something that's perfect and resembling something. It has to mean something for mm-hmm. myself. Mm-hmm. If not, I'm not bothered to do it. You know. Yeah. yeah I, I just wouldn't do it. That's that's very interesting to think that like all of these things are literally pointing to the experience for yourself. Mm. Like like every single thing that you're doing right now. That's apart from your day job, is literally, like, when I say day job, I mean your job, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a, another job. Or anything yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but like, what I mean is like, it kind of feels like you have your normal job and then you have this kind of tendency to want to express yourself in certain ways. Mm. And I feel like you just have this, like, you, you, I feel like innately you are a bit of a creative mm-hmm. in a sense. Mm-hmm. A bit of an artistic person, but you kind of like chose the the stable, I guess. Uh, could you call it stable? <laughs> uh, uh, it kind of, kind of conventional, I guess. I I guess a good job, a good mm-hmm. job where you won't have to starve the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. that's what you call stability, la. It it sort of is though, but yeah. in your sense, where like your pay is still not like constant. Instead, I mean, right? it's consistent to a minimum, like, you know? It's consistently good, mm. but it's not consistent. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It <laughs> yeah, stay as in, the same. As in, sorry, I meant it's not constant, not consistent. It's not constant. It's not the same amount. Oh uh, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. predictable. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's always good. It's always yeah. good. You you don't have to worry about your next paycheck. It will yeah. come. Yeah, that kind yeah. of thing. You know. Yeah. Whereas, like, uh, some people in the arts field might have that kind of issue, especially mm. at the start. Mm. And I, I think me personally, that was wet. I had at the start like mm. I had to go be like I, I might make some like five figure income for one month and then the next month I'll just be like I right, three figure <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just like oh nice uh, I got one job <laughs> <laughs> but I mean like okay you've been doing this for so many years How like many years? Uh, ten, I mean ten in, years. in terms of freelancing and uh, doing years. random jobs and everything the music last years. time and now it's photography actually what How? I'm still doing music it's, I mean, it's still yeah. the main thing, yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. I mean, I, mean, I haven't. I don't see you that often anymore. So you know, I, no, no, no. I, I mean, I, I like, don't see you do. Yeah, I don't really know what you do anymore. Actually, I mean, like, I'm still, uh, I'm still, ninety percent of my time is still poured into being a music mm-hmm. teacher, into a musician. Um, I would say about like eighty percent of me is doing the music education thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Teaching is just like what I like to do. Uh, I mean, you know this. Yeah. Uh, teaching is just what I like to do, and I I don't get bored of it. Mm-hmm. But I will get bored of it if the, if it's the only thing I do. Mm-hmm. Which which is why uh, picking up like photography again, videography again was like you know something that I wanted to do because I didn't want to just do one thing. It's mm-hmm. not um it's not a problem with teaching. Mm-hmm. But yeah, music is still the main thing that I do. Mm-hmm. Um recording i still do that mainly i do record like students and stuff because Mm -hmm. again like i do want to focus on my teaching a little bit more Mm -hmm. i I have a lot of students and i want to kind of like um 
do my best in that job. But the the photography, the videography stuff, that's that's part uh that's part time. That's like, you know, YouTube is for fun and like it's kind of like things that I do when I have free time or I make time for it sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they, these are things that I do that don't necessarily make me uh, enough to get by, but it's like, I don't expect even like money from it, but I get money from it, which is nice. Mm-hmm. It just happened to la. I mean, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of a combination of like mm. luck and work. La. Mm. And networking, like I, I meet people Um, you try to you know talk to them, be friends, mm. uh, gain their trust, not screw up projects when I'm with them. <laughs> and then, like you know, you by luck you get called up to the next yeah. project. I mm. I have not been the kind of person that has to market themselves mm-hmm. almost ever, which is very very lucky for me. Like mm. I've always had the luck on my side. Uh, one day when that goes away, I really have to struggle to mm-hmm. like get there. But for now, I've been the that yeah, I'm not. I'm not bothered if I do. Uh, I'm I'm not too bothered to market myself mm-hmm. yet as a as a photographer. Because also mainly because I don't know what kind of photography I would really want to just focus into. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's not something I make money with yet. Mm. Yeah. So you wouldn't consider yourself like you know to actually transition into? Would you? I mean, it into, would. Into it's, photo it's from fun. whatever it is that you're doing already. It's fun to think about it. Uh-huh. It's fun to think about it. It's not like, it doesn't seem like a reality. Like nothing really seems real. But then again, like if you asked me like 10 years ago, I'm like music doesn't seem like a real career as well. <laughs> But it became a pretty good career for me and like had a solid run as a performer, solid run as an engineer and everything. And then mm. now as a as an educator and own a, run a business, like run a school, It's a lot of fun. I still don't... I don't hate my job yet. <laughs> <laughs> I have never hated a job. Give it time. <laughs> <laughs> I've never really hated a job. Uh-huh. Um, like, legitimately, like, ever. I Actually, maybe I got tired of, like, performing. Mm-hmm. Because it, it felt like I was just going one night in, out, in, out. And then after mm-hmm. that, I just, I just get tired. I It's fun. I uh, you know it's fun to travel the world and be a uh, touring musician and stuff. Like, it's fun. At the end of the day, I am a father. I have a son. Mm-hmm. I do need money. <laughs> I mean, back then you were not a father. <laughs> yeah, I was not a father at that time. So, you like, talk about day in day out. Look at what people do. <laughs> Office people. <laughs> no, no, no. Like like day in day. As like as in as in like one day. <laughs> yeah. One day I'm here. Yeah. One day I'm not. One day I'm in mm. another place. Like I don't know when my next paycheck is gonna come. There's no stability, lah. Like, in that sense. That is one thing. Stability mm. is one thing. Yeah. And But another thing is also fatigue. Like it's so tiring and. I'm sorry to say this, but you make so little money if you're not at the higher levels. Mm-hmm. So I've got all the way to kind of the lower mid levels, and okay, like, you made some money. Yeah, I made some money. It's Quite nice. A bit of money. Uh, commu- <laughs> cumulatively, <laughs> I haven't even had to pay tax yet, so I wouldn't say. Okay. I mean, I mean, for that time, like I uh. didn't have to pay taxes yet because it just wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> But okay. but I mean okay. that's not a bad thing mm. though. Like you don't have to survive with like like you don't need obscene amounts of money to survive. True. Which I was fine with. True. Yeah, but you know, like it's nice. But yeah, and also <laughs> you sort of just don't you you sort of don't want to just survive, isn't it? Yeah, I guess now with the sun, no. Yeah. I was okay with just surviving. By okay. the way, like I don't think it was an issue. Mm. But like now having. Uh, a son and all like I have a stable job with pretty good income now mm-hmm. uh, and I'm doing what I love mm-hmm. I don't think I'll hate it anytime soon mm-hmm. but it's tempting it's a very nice job to do like photo and video like I haven't had this much fun for a while mm-hmm. like um, again I have fun doing what I do but mm-hmm. this is a lot more fun this is something that I'm like I'm surprised at how much I love this again by the way like I I did start off doing this first and then I got tired of phot- photography mm-hmm. because um, I think I was just not good enough that like everyone was better than me. And I'm the I'm the kind of the person who has this competitive nature. Mm-hmm. But as soon as someone is like 
better than me. I'm like, nah, <laughs> I'm gone. Like, you're no, I, I didn't want to compete as, anyway. You're competitive as long as you're winning. <laughs> yeah, I'm very competitive as long as I'm winning. Like, that's kind of like the the negative attitude that I have. Mm-hmm. But I mean, for good reason. But I feel like now I'm turning to the not not to say competitive in the field of like ours, but like if I'm competing for something, mm-hmm. let's say as a teacher, if like. I, by the way, I I don't um, I don't ever encourage anyone to like uh, compete in the arts in any form. But mm-hmm. it, when business is business and like my students have to compete with some mm-hmm. people for something, m- my students are gonna pull ahead. Mm-hmm. Like that's mm-hmm. just reality. Like I'm gonna make sure that happens. Mm-hmm. And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But like you know, that's kind of my mindset. I have to make it happen. Mm-hmm. Like that's where the competitive side of me like has to be. You know? Mm. Yeah. So. Very much, like that's kind of like the plan for now. If I can find a way mm-hmm. to make money doing photography or videography, mm-hmm. it'll be nice. Right now, side jobs, yes, fun mm-hmm. will work. But mm-hmm. long term, I kind of have to find a way to build a business up and maintain it, and. It's fun. It's fun to think that I might be able to do it one day, but mm-hmm. I don't have a real concrete plan for it yet. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, being a portrait photographer, like you can't guarantee like her jobs coming in all the time, anyways, mm-hmm. because um, I don't know the market and I don't know the realities of it yet. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I one thing I've been uh, having quite some luck with is like doing weddings and. Uh, pre-wedding portraits and stuff which it excites me it's mm-hmm. fun and uh yeah i like who knows mm. maybe soon maybe but, in the future yeah but i'm just thinking like I, i mean i see the way that you work and everything like that mm-hmm. the, sorry not not just the way that you work more like the un- amount of time that you used to work you know used to, uh, uh, cute, no i mean yeah. uh, not used to but i mean you you mm. you actually take to work like do your other projects everything all at the same time you know right Like I wonder whether because I've never done this before. I've never done creative stuff on a large scale at any point. Okay, you know I've always been like one tiny little thing here, one tiny little thing there. That's it. Yeah, yeah. you know. But like, if you consistently do this, actually, I don't know how you can tahan. I ne- I've always experienced burnout. I never can. I I I could never actually you know uh have the discipline <laughs> right. to be able to put myself and do something. I end up falling asleep. Yeah, for whatever reason, and I'll just end up like, oh no, I need to rest today, mm-hmm. and for the next entire month, <laughs> and for the next year, <laughs> that's what happened with right. me. I I was jobless for eight months and I didn't do anything. Right, you right. know, I, yeah. Sometimes you need that, right? Sometimes you need the rest, right? Yes, but like you know, <laughs> do you do you, like okay? So and I know what you're trying to like say is like if I have this kind of like issue with like burnout, and mm-hmm. most of the time I kind of think I do but like recently I've made a realization that like I don't really get burnt out which is funny because I like that makes me I, I kind of get burnt out but not really mm-hmm. so um, this this has to come uh, a little bit into the uh, the ADHD side of me where it's like I can't work on something If I only have one thing on my plate, mm-hmm. I have to work on one thing when I have ten things on my plate. Uh. <laughs> Because like if not, right, like I just get distracted by everything else, and then after that, when I see ten things on my plate, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do one thing. <laughs> like, and that that's usually the struggle that I go through. I'm always chasing after something, mm-hmm. and um, I do get burned out pretty often. Like, I get tired. I do my projects and I halfway like I'm just falling asleep while I'm doing my work. I get emotionally burnt out. I'm just like. Lying on the bed with like stuff piling up, and it's like, what do I do with these things now? Mm. Let me just go and sleep. Mm. Getting feeling overwhelmed and burnt out and stuff. But I think, I think being burnt out is kind of like the key of me moving. <laughs> <laughs> like without being burnt out, right? Like I, I feel like being burnt out kind of pushes me to do more because it makes me find more creative ways to finish my work in a more if for lack of a better term a more lazy way mm-hmm. so 
kind of like finding an easy way out for like certain stuff mm. uh, which is not healthy when you're like dealing with a client work that's why I only do this with like yeah. personal projects like I get burnt out I have to quickly try and finish like something which is like a personal project that I can just chicken my way out of it like just really mm-hmm. really work it like spare like like work it without really um considering a lot of the qualities of it and just kind of like reminding myself that like this project can be done really quickly mm-hmm. <laughs> okay um there's this kind of like saying by i don't think you watch any photo video youtubers but mm-hmm. peter mckinnon has mentioned that like his uh one of his most important things in life is his motto of like done is better than perfect mm-hmm. a project is done it's better than a project being perfect mm-hmm. because the more like all the time you spend to try and finish something to perfection you might just not finish it mm-hmm. and then scrap and then you might get frustrated with yourself and then you don't like finish the project you don't do the project anymore that kind of thing you might not even know what perfect is yeah exactly the thing is that's that's the problem that's no that's not a thing yeah it's not a, it's really not a thing like yeah. in reality that's not yeah. such a thing right yep um and then i i think that phrase is applicable to certain situations especially these mm-hmm. this one um where like i can be like all right i have 10 things on my plate and i'm like how do i finish all these nine client projects mm-hmm. or or 10 client projects and i just my key so far has just been tricking myself i'm like oh look let me just finish this one personal project i can finish in a day mm. right now delay one day of work and then get me like give me like the confidence to kind of like go through that one project and then see what how it does so far it's been doing its magic to make me finish all my other tasks like it's it it works out i would not recommend this to anyone else by the way because burnout is a real thing yep a lot of people think it's way better like it's much better to pace yourself mm-hmm. and yeah, that is true that is true it's just that like i have to say that some people work differently yeah. like i work differently i work myself to a point where like I'd have no life anymore for an instance. Mm. But see, that here's the thing, right? Like I work myself like till I have no life, I have no more energy. And as soon as I think that it's time to rest, right, my FOMO kicks in <laughs> and I just like wake up and like, "All right, let's get start something new." <laughs> I've always been like that. Working again. Yeah, like I've always been like that. And the thing is because I am in the industry, I am in a job a couple of jobs these few things that i do music and photo videos i'm doing this thing and these are my hobbies as well mm-hmm. i don't actually feel like i've worked a single day mm. like not a single day and that kind of thing is a privilege that only some people a handful of people can relate to and i am definitely one of them mm-hmm. like you know i definitely feel like i've never struggled with being bored at my work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have I have if like, you know, it's redundant uh, it's repetitive work then yes, I'll get bored of it, but Standard, like you know, these I things guess. have to go. Like yeah. you need to have these from like like you have you need to have like these kind of things to balance you out anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to write my insight with it. You you're golden. Now, I know you hate <laughs> working in your industry. Yeah. Like I mean, you kind of don't <laughs> hate it, but ah uh. You kind of wish that there was a way out as well, right? Yeah. I mean, what's your what's your ideal life like? I mean, okay, let me start by doing this. Right now my life is it is it's not bad. Okay, it's not bad. Um I'm afforded some free time. I'm afforded very free time, very little free time, you know. I work 6 days a week and stuff like that. I work 6 days a week and I work nights. Um Yeah, and I don't find any time. I'm I'm trying to find time with family. I'm trying to find time with my girlfriend. I'm trying to find time with anybody, you know. Uh all I'm doing now if anything is I would I guess, you know, have a drink at night. That's the most of free time that I can afford, you know, right now. Right. Yeah. Uh sadly enough, and I I'm I I I'm in mean, I work in a restaurant and I'm a restaurant manager and 
in 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 a in 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 a very entitled situation. Uh, sorry, the customers over there are in a very entitled situation. So you get very unnecessary mm. nonsense to deal with most of the time. The the kind sorry, of th- sorry, wait, wait, I just need to feel this in. Like, where do you work? Like, like, sorry, what kind of like? Uh, what kind? Of- I work in a wine bar. Right, right. Yeah. So, so you have this like pseudo uh, higher class people there. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, the thing is, um, I, okay, this is what I noticed with working in the luxury segment of many things. Mm. The more luxurious things are, the more luxurious the place is, the m- and the more rich these people are, the richer these people actually are, the more they expect free stuff. For some reason, it's right? it so funny because you have so much money. It's not as if you know you can't pay for these things. But always also, they just want this tiny little stupid privilege. Right. They this, want to feel like you want to kiss their butt. It's the, it's the power they crave, I think. Yeah. So I work in a <laughs> place like that in, in, as, as in all day, what I have to do is, I, I, I'm never myself at work. You know, at yeah. work, I'm a smiley, very, very smiley, very nice person who will take all your nonsense and say thank you after that. Right. And th- 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 that's the reason why I come out and I'm a, such a different person outside of my work. Okay. You know, uh, yeah. that's the reason why I take everything that I do as myself mm-hmm. outside of work because right. I'm nowhere near myself at all when I'm working. Yeah. So it's a very good escape after that to be able to get back to 100% only myself. That's the reason why I don't do this work for other people. Mm-hmm. You know, as long as I'm not happy with it, I don't like it. I, I'm not going to show it to anybody. Right. Because I'm not going to even show it to myself, mm-hmm. you know. But if I like it and if people don't like I don't care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because it's for me to listen to and it's for me to just be happy with myself, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I use it more of an escape. Okay. Yeah, and I forgot your question. <laughs> <laughs> no, like do you have any plans to to leave? Like, no, that was not a question, but now my question is kind of like, do you have any plans to pursue at least not not leave i don't uh, think you'll ever want to like, i don't think you'll ever want to leave just because it is stable uh, or are you considering leaving i i i am actually trying to leave you know i am right. actually trying to leave realistically for mm. something that would actually give me more time to be able to do other things right, other right. than just be at work all day you know okay okay um i mean we talk about uh, a lot of people talk about nine to five jobs and you know oh weekends i don't want to talk about work at all you have a saturday and you have a sunday you know yeah. and you have every day after 5 p.m you clock out and you don't talk about work anymore you go and drink and everything like that you know uh-huh. you go and party with your friends and stuff like that on friday nights and everything like that guess what i'm the one who serves you <laughs> yeah and I'm the one who has to take your nonsense when you vomit here and there and, you know, when you guys drink too much and you fight right. with me over the bill and stuff like that, even though you know you're in the wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm the one who's taking your nonsense, you know, which is yeah, yeah. which is even worse on another level, you know, after that. Yeah, yeah. yeah so um, I'm honestly, I'm quite sick of it, <laughs> <laughs> right, but right. I'm still doing it because, you know, it's, it's, it's good money. It's okay, right. you know, and... Um, I get my paycheck every month and realistically it's worth the fight lah because a lot of times I mean I don't mean to sound smug or anything like that but a lot of people who are fighting with me and trying to act like they are they are <laughs> my boss. boss or anything like that you earn less money than me you know it's, it's a ha ha you know? <laughs> very good yeah I mean I, 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 I think, don't I think part of the sorry I just carry off there but like uh, I think part of the thing is that like these uh, a lot of these people they're like they're bossed around by their boss yeah. the entire day. And then like at the end of the day, they want to boss somebody yeah. around and like, you know, you're the line aside. You're like, you're the weekend guy. Yeah. You're the guy they're like, you serve me, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because I, kn- I know I feel this way. <laughs> right, I right. have to kiss your ass every day. So, you know, <laughs> it's not your ass, but like, like I have to, I have to be nice to all these people every day. Yeah, and I have yeah, to yeah. do everything to be able to make them happy. Mm-hmm. I don't have a chance to make myself happy. So right, yeah, yeah. during my free time, I make myself happy. I don't yeah, care yeah. about everybody else, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess that's the same thing with them as well, you know. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's it's quite malicious on that the, uh, from from their side. I guess right, you yeah, could yeah. almost call it malicious. I guess, it or is, you it could is, al- it is, it is. You, or you can make excuses for them and call, uh, and just say they are trying to blow off steam. Well, uh, part of it is, I feel like not many people consider this, but I think a lot of it is actually insecurity. Yeah, the fact that they are true. actually someone else's, like they're yeah. actually serving someone else. Yeah. It's that insecurity that kicks in, and then when they go out somewhere, they need to show that they're 
a class up of some people mm. or something. So like, I mean, obviously not every single person is like this, yeah. but yeah, I think for a lot of people, this is the reality. The fact that they're like, they feel inferior to other people. Mm. And then the weekends is when they can feel, you know, not inferior. They can feel like themselves and they mm. want to be what they, who they aspire to be. They aspire to be this a rich people <laughs> i'll call them people for now <laughs> you know what i don't care about this this is crazy you know like uh-huh. i just see millionaires and mm-hmm. stuff yeah and you know what i like if i was like okay i'll ask you one thing if you were a millionaire what would you do you if know what to be a millionaire if i was a millionaire you know what i wouldn't do what i wouldn't work it seemed like i have i have one million dollars you have one million dollars and you want more yeah uh, for me <laughs> i just do do was like that money yeah i'll just like <laughs> buy a small house The sustenance, you know, like yeah, literally, I'll, just, I'll order food every day. Yeah, sustain myself, not going too extravagant or anything yeah. like that. Every day, just especially, live life. Especially if I don't have a kid, right? If I don't have a kid, I would just, if I have, a, if I don't have a kid, and then like, let's say, if I have like five million mm. ringgit, I, have, I don't have a kid, I don't have a family to take care of, I don't have a wife, anything, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna live with five million, and I'll maybe like travel once in few years or travel nearby once, once a year is once fine. a couple months easy, very easy. yeah and and the things i do will be for fun yeah like you don't have to worry for money anymore like yeah. isn't that crazy and these people are like they're i i don't know like it's like they're sick like they like they have to work they're, they're like you need to work more you need to earn more like billionaires and yeah. stuff like you know I just, uh, I need to like I'm they're distressing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm distressing yeah. when you have so much money. <laughs> like I need more money. It's like why? Yeah, yeah. You, you already have so much, you know. And the worst part about working sometimes is that you might lose money. <laughs> and yeah, with yeah. the kind of businesses these people do, you know, you could lose money. Yeah, so yeah, why you want to take the, the risk? <laughs> I'm like okay. I mean, fine, fine. You know, passion projects and stuff like that. Yeah. They, they, I'm I'm not trying to belittle their life or anything. I'm yeah. just saying if I had the choice. Yeah. I just retire, man. You know what? I'll be like, if I had a lot of money, right? I just buy like cameras and stuff, and I keep buying and selling. Like whenever I get the new camera comes out, mm. and I'll be like volunteering people to to people's weddings and stuff. Like, hey, do you want me to take photos for your mm. wedding for free and stuff like that? Mm. If you trust my work, I'll do it for free. It's for fun. <laughs> Literally, I don't need to care about like the when I, I don't have to care about paying my Adobe subscription. I don't need to care when I'm buying a new MacBook every time it yeah. dies. <laughs> yeah, you know, like. I just think it's so weird that yeah. like, I don't know. Maybe I don't think it's weird. Maybe I think that like my ideal life, if I had money, is to not worry about money and you know maybe help people and and like you know like I feel like that's what we a lot a lot of times what we're missing in life is like literally like what is the meaning in your life yeah kind of thing like what's the meaning in your life when you're you're working enough to make money. To be able to sustain you for the next month, to be able to work for another month, mm. <laughs> to be able to pay for your next month, yeah. And you know, I'm not saying you have to. Uh, again, I'm not denying other people's sex like, struggles and stuff. I'm just saying, like, I feel like at a certain point, maybe it's worth reevaluating if you have the privilege to um, evaluating how you can live, uh, you know, a meaningful life on your terms and stuff. Mm. So. I don't know, it's this is such a it's such a spiritual talk. Mm. I mean, if you <laughs> spiritual talk, no, right? it's uh it's a uh, not spiritual. What do you call it? Deep. I, I don't deep, know what you deep talk. D- deep is the easiest way, I guess. But I yeah, think so. it's more of a because I notice when I put myself into work mm-hmm. a lot when I decide okay I'm going to concentrate on work. Yeah. What happens to me is that the days pass very fast. Right. They pass so quickly to the point where, but and and the problem is I'm numb the entire time, right. but I know that I want to achieve something. One, right? That's when I put my head into work, and regardless of how much achievements I get, I want more. Mm-hmm. You know, that's so. So goals are different. Uh, yeah, but the goals thing are different. is, like when I was talking about that, I was talking about money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, oh, uh, oh. when. When when I do that, obviously, when you do these kind of things, when you want achievements, then obviously you want more money also, lah. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the whole point of doing all these things, you know. I mean, I, no, no, no. That, like when when you're talking about that, like the way I see it is that you want achievements, you go for that, and then money is the incentive you have to keep living to be able to achieve your dreams, you know. Mm. Like the goal at the end of the day, the goal is the goal. The goal isn't just, you know, making 
uh like like the goal isn't just to increase the number in my bank account mm. it's nice to increase that but like why are you increasing that like there has to be a there has to be a purpose yeah. right so in my terms if I, if if i'm increasing that it's like the money is you know to maybe be a safety net for my kid mm. for myself for travel you know it can be a yeah. lot of things for me it's mostly mm. nowadays travel and buy car no not buy car <laughs> pay for car pay for no, petrol <laughs> pay for yeah pay for petrol a lot of it actually not yeah. that much so eco cars nowadays yeah. not really so where's cars. where's your next the, the totally other topic because i, I kind of want to yeah. wrap this up wow let's wrap this up by <laughs> we went very far yeah like, let, let's just wrap this up by um by naming our next possible holiday destination or mm. travel destination mm. you can N- go first. next possible holiday destination or, or or like you know doesn't have to be possible like your yeah. next hope that it could be or or just like a dream like next destination that you want to I, go to I don't think it's more I I don't think it's much of a dream I think it's pretty much confirmed for myself already that oh, okay. because it's quite a quite an affordable thing to do also and it's okay. something that I really want to do and you know that I like to travel within mostly within Asia stuff like that you right, know right, I yeah, don't yeah. really uh I'm not too interested in what's going on in Europe yet at yeah, least yeah, yeah. Uh, because I sort of want to see more of what's yeah. what's going on in Asia because I'm confused as hell okay yeah uh, but Perfect. I want to go back to Vietnam again Vietnam yeah nice. I want to go through Ho Chi Minh I want to go through Hai An again I want to go mm-hmm. through Da Nang I want to go through to all these places to be able to actually explore the culture outside of a hotel room right 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 yeah, yeah. and drink <laughs> so much coffee that my heart beats out of my mouth right right <laughs> I gonna be in camera there Of course, you should. <laughs> Obviously, you know I'm already saving up money for next year, uh, to go there at the end of the next, uh, at the end of the next, uh, at the end of the next year. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's nice. gonna probably be like a week or two like that, you know, that I'm gonna spend over there. Let me know if you want to borrow. Yeah, yeah, the, of course. Of the course. smaller camera, then it'll be nicer to travel with. Ah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just don't get it wet, because that one can't get wet. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the pink color one. Yeah, the pink ah, one. Yeah, okay. the, the the black one, like the. The 500D. No, she can't, can't get wet as well. No, I want to do film over there. Oh, you want to do that? Yeah. yeah. I want to do film, but maybe I'll borrow from you for video. You can take my film camera as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can take I my mean, film camera see, as well. See, see what happens. Uh, I, I, kind of don't want, I kind of want to do film over there, actually. Yeah, very much. But I do want to vlog the entire experience for fun. Nice. Uh, yeah. But you gotta. But I don't know what I'm what, doing, what to be film, honest. What film stock are you going to bring? <laughs> I and don't know. How are you gonna bring? It? Huh? <laughs> and how are you gonna bring it there? Don't let them X-ray it, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. Um, you I don't know. I I might just go there and buy. It's difficult to find. I'll. I mean, I have a whole year to research. <laughs> so no, I'm be honest with you. It's difficult to find. Yeah. Like, and when you travel from city to city, you still have to go through the airport. Oh man. <laughs> But but I mean it's good you if if you're planning to vlog the whole trip anyways you mm. do have a camera on hand yeah 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 you know, if you really can always, anything goes yeah you bad. can always kind of just use that camera to shoot mm. anyways if like your film doesn't really work out mm. um yeah I'll show you some procedures on how to get past the airport security without mm. the without them X-raying your mm. film mm. yeah on my end my next travel that my next travel is going to Penang. Uh-huh. For a proposal shoot That's a f- oh, okay. friend's yeah. proposal uh-huh. And then <laughs> The trip after that's Langkawi Oh nice <laughs> I oh, might be man. staying in Pelangi again I miss Langkawi Why are you staying in Pelangi? I might Why? Why not? Oh Oh kid. okay So it's just a It's just a decision that you Yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah okay, okay okay I have a kid I thought you were being resp- uh, I thought you were being sponsored or something No for, I wish for, No I mean for like a For like a shoot or something No like no no I wish I mean, <laughs> no, I'm going there with uh, With uh, you know uh, Lucas and Nick And your wife And then a wife Yeah uh, And then I'm also My trip after that would Yeah my trip after that would be Europe <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, my yeah. We're going trip. to Europe. When was that again? Oh April. wait, no, my trip after that. Sorry, sorry. Before Europe, I'm going to climb the Gunung Kinabalu. Oh, again, tallest mountain in Malaysia. Again. Yes. Oh, nice. My third time. Mm, nice. Hopefully, I can get to the summit this time. Mm. Yeah, have you not gotten to the? No, summit? I have gotten to the summit the last two times. I'm just not as confident this time. 
Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah you've been, you've been not, not so... hiking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been not hiking yeah. and I've been inactive. Yeah, we so that's go hiking. Yes, let's do it. Let's do yeah. it. I need We've been saying this for years. Well, yeah, <laughs> let's do it soon. Let's do it soon. We'll figure out time. We'll figure out time. Thing is, weekday mornings for me, but you will die after that. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, We'll, we'll arrange a time. All right. Yeah, we'll find yeah. time. Now it's yeah, rainy we'll season anyways. We can't record. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, yeah, apart from that, uh, you rope after that. Mm. Yeah. Which I which... don't think I will bring. I, I want to bring film cameras there, but I don't know if I can. Uh-huh. I, actually, you know what? It's much easier to buy film there. So yeah, I, I, probably I, might. I, I, I would assume so. Yeah, so I, I think I will bring my film mm. cameras there. So wh- which, where are you going again? Uh, Lisbon for a week. And then, Plan is Barcelona, uh, like Barcelona. maybe even before Lisbon or after, but Lisbon for a week for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then before and after, or or only after, or only before, mm-hmm. uh, will be Barcelona, London, uh, Paris. And I'm trying to convince, uh, I'm trying to convince my friend to not do Rome because it's going to be crazy. It's going to be so many people. Oh, yeah. I'm going for Catholic pilgrimage and another day like you go to Rome it's just oh. not a good idea yeah. anyways this was a nice talk mm. yeah very very nice right so yeah. wait I wanna no, nobody listens to this chances yeah. are yeah <laughs> but like if someone does how can they find your Instagram <laughs> 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 or you just clipped it <laughs> yeah I noticed I noticed yeah Sorry. What's, what's your Instagram uh, Calvin Fernandez 940524 that is C-A-L-V-I-N-F-E-R-N-A-N-D-E-Z 940524 oh nice it sounds like an it ad already so short it sounds like an ad already <laughs> Anyways, yeah, and then uh, any uh, can they find you anywhere else? Because that's your most active uh, problem. Yeah, that's literally my most active social site. Yeah. Are you gonna Are you gonna do more like photo content there soon? Um, I'm thinking that I would actually, but I do want to do the music thing also at the same time. Oh, so yeah, photo but, and yeah, music. Okay, I, I, yeah, I nice. do want to do a mixture of everything. Very and soon, I'll be on. I, I'll try to do some TikToks and. That's fine. And, you can you can uh, so yeah. recycle the content here and there so yeah yeah, nice. yeah yeah and i'm gonna do some stuff on facebook which is probably gonna be just a bit longer i guess sure probably. yeah like nice. full videos and stuff like that i could facebook is dead facebook. not because the platform is dead it's because that your audience is your old friends from high school that's why i find it lame yeah but i sort of and auntie I, uncles yeah i sort of can you know i don't know i'm just doing this for fun to put it out there right. and i mean I, I i probably would mix all the media together at the right. end of the day yeah. Yeah. all right Mm. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Follow this guy. Yeah. Follow to my see follow sporadic my, content. <laughs> sporadic once a year or maybe sometimes twice a year. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right. Okay. See you. Bye. Okay. Bye bye.